Here we go. Uh, I'm good at work. I'm, I'm good. Work is okay so far. What are you doing? Not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. I love older women and want to suck your breast. <laughs> I said, Jesus, no chill. I'm straightforward. So you can be straightforward still have a bit more respect. Anyway, good luck. Wait, let's say our pronouns real quick. I'm a he. I'm a starfish. You and I are sick. You walked into a lion's den. You wouldn't know that it was human meat until they said to you, human carpaccio. When I think about eating people, not only do I think about how they would taste, but I also like to think about their personality. You walked into a lion's den. Just call me my guy, and we're good. Yeah, call me my dude. That's yeah. it. <laughs> you sound like the dumbest robot me. I am the dumbest robot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Splitting Hairs. On this podcast, you're going to learn about yourself. I'm Asha Sozano. My name is Chris Metcalf. We're all, we're all lizard people anyway. Welcome, guys, to Splitting Hairs. I mean, I don't think we've ever brought the show in. That was gay. All right, yeah. so today <laughs> we have a guest. And as you guys know, when we have a guest, we kind of switch it up. And what we do is they either pick an, a, a conspiracy, an apocalypse, or a futuristic thing that they want. Okay? Oh, I want to know the so, third option. I texted it to you. Okay. Maybe, <laughs> I, <laughs> maybe if I would have voice noted it to you. It's possible. Actually, She you thought you were a dude from me, Tinder. Bitch. You did voice oh, note Oh, I did me. voice note. You did voice yeah, note I did. to me. Um, also, that would have been boring because the futuristic thing I would have wanted would have been a husband. And everyone would have been like, <laughs> <laughs> Those don't exist really, in the bitch? future. Yeah. yeah. They don't exist in the present either. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> that's the new future is that they don't exist. Word. Uh, so, um, sorry, let me just put this volume up a little bit. So, we, so you, what did you choose? You chose a conspiracy theory, right? Yes, I did choose a and conspiracy now theory before of my own. Of her own, that she's created on her own. Yes. But before that, let's get into you, right? <laughs> Welcome our guest, Christiana Jackson. Come on, we did this hey. for Sean Metcalf. Hey. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot we were doing a Beastie Boy scene. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Christiana Jackson. Hey, what's up? Yeah. We we love you and we're so happy that you're on this podcast. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Ashley. Um, Chris, we're still getting to know each other. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love you too. We're big. You're, I'm, we're you're fans. Not gonna, you're I'm not gonna fan love. You're not gonna. It's gonna be a love hate. I mean, yeah. Oh, oh wow. yeah. That's how it always yeah, goes. Yeah. That's okay. how you gotta yeah. love Chris. You gotta wait, love Chris, him. What sign are you? You knew I was gonna ask this. To- I'm a Taurus. Oh yeah. Oh, you guys are both. Oh wait, I knew that. I didn't know that. Sorry. Yeah. 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 What yeah. does that say about us? Yeah. It makes sense that you guys vibe and also butt heads like two bulls. Yeah. Okay. What are you? I'm a cancer. I I'm sorry. How long have you had it for? Boo! Oh, I don't know anything about Boo. you. You can do better than that. Yeah, you can. <laughs> that's come on. Yeah, Chris. Is that the crab? Yes, it is the crab. Okay, that's yeah. literally the only thing I know. We're about hard it. on the outside, soft on the inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very yeah, yeah. sensitive people, but they don't like to show it. Mm. We can't show it, man, because then the world will take advantage of us. But the thing about cancers is, a lot of times, like. They act real tough and then they get hurt and you're like, wait, why are you hurt? Like, you're so tough. <laughs> and then they're like, but I'm also sensitive. I'm like, oh, yes, yes. I forgot. You know what I well, mean? Because you have to. You can't, yeah. have your, you can't be running around with all your crab meat out. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the world fucking comes and eats off of you. And yeah. yeah. Hurts yeah. your feelings. And, and then every shit. once in a yeah. while you have to shed your exoskeleton. Because crabs do that. They that shed their disgusting. exoskeleton. <laughs> it is very disgusting. Just, As I someone really who wish owned some hermit crabs that. for a while, they do that. That's how you get soft shell crab. Do you ever have a soft shell crab sandwich? I love them. So the way they catch them is they catch the crabs after they've molted their ah, exoskeleton. That's so gross. And then so their, their body most, is oh soft. Oh, my God. So you at their could, most vulnerable state. Yes. They, that's you have they to catch, catch them. them yeah. And you're like, oh, look, it's like a crab, but it's all pink. Because yeah. it's got fresh new shell that hasn't yeah. hardened yet. Okay. And you take that motherfucker, you See? clock it on the head, and then you batter it. That's why we And then need... you deep fry it, mm-hmm. and then you put that shit on a nice brioche That's why she doesn't with that's some... why, her inside. That's why we obviously uh, need that hard when shell. You're yeah. So yeah. When you're molting. Yeah, you're molting. Once the molting You've phase. ruined my sign and a food that I like at the same <laughs> yeah. time. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Get used to it. He's going <laughs> to ruin disgusting. a lot of things. Please, that that is me. so disgusting. <laughs> Also, I feel bad for them now. Are I'm you like, really going to stop eating this? I mean, I don't eat them it's very really often good. anyway. They but, are really good. But are you going to stop eating roll? it? Spider roll? I'll eat it at some point, but I'll be like, oh, man, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the I same know crab what it is. if they had a shell. It's I just know. Yeah. getting I them at really a vulnerable eat, time. I actually eat soft shell more than regular. Wow, that's Maybe even more I fucked envy- up. <laughs> It's too much work. It tastes so good. Also, it's too much work. You like the vulnerability. Yeah, maybe I envy their vulnerability. Yeah, because I. But it is less work. It is less work. You see, on this podcast, you're gonna learn about yourself. Yeah, it is. (laughs) It is 
is it is less work to fuck someone over when they're vulnerable. It is true. <laughs> it is true. I feel I feel true. my own shell thickening as we're talking. I'm like, oh, armor up, bitch. All right, all right. Now armor that you're up. now that you are armored up and you yeah. are not ready to be deep fried and battered. And now that everyone down, you know knows yeah. your sign. Yes, yeah. that was important. <laughs> You know, you know it's gonna bring it up. I was yeah, talking signs. No, I mean, it helps our audience get to know you. <laughs> and we've talked about you before here on this podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Especially shit. with horoscopes and stuff. All like crab stuff. Yeah. All crab stuff. All vulnerability stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. So, Word. what's the what is your conspiracy theory? Okay. First of all, I just want to say that mm. I will admit that my conspiracy theory is that, and that it's based on nothing but my own life. And <laughs> no, no, no. It's based on everything. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, people have have it's these based on theories, and they won't actually say like. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. I'll admit it's my own it's my own conjuring. It's my own like that shit idea. This but is it my has some theory. evidence. It well on my life. Okay. This is my <laughs> this is my conspiracy theory. Okay. Dating apps were actually created to keep us all apart. So we never because we think we have all of these endless options. Yes. When we really only have a few and then we never get off of these dating apps. Mm -hmm. I've been on on my I've been on Tinder for five years now i've seen the same people we're all still in it when are we gonna get off of it and i think the reason is because if we're single we pay higher in taxes okay so who created the dating apps oh i haven't gone that far oh okay okay i, I mean the government like okay, they want to yes. keep us okay, they want to yes. keep us single so, so we're constantly paying more money as single people in taxes right I agree. All right, I agree with you. I'm gonna say off the bat that I agree with you. I off the bat agree with you yeah. too. And my goal throughout this is to try to concrete this conspiracy harder as best as we can. Yes. Armor up. Yes, yeah. we're on your side. I think we both agree with you on this one. Yeah. I the re the number one reason why I agree with you though because I was trying to look for other conspiracy theories about dating apps and I could find Couldn't none. Find none. Oh. And right. I'm like, this is a government stunt. <laughs> This yeah. is a government. This is back stunt. channel money. This yes. is back channel yes. money yes. because this is this is the tech world. Because the even the heavy hitters, right? The Yankees, Red Sox, fucking mm -hmm. dating apps, Tinder, Bumble, OK Cupid. They're Pinch, all owned by match. the same. They're all owned by the same corporation. Are you serious? Right. Yes. One. Yes. They're owned by one corporation. All the heavy hitters guess, guess, are under one umbrella. Guess the initials wow. of the corporation. Um, S H A D Y Shady. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say USA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? They're all owned by one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Except, I, can, I except don't have Facebook the, I, now. But you know, uh, once but, Mark Zuckerberg gets on something, and, you're, it's and there's dirty. a dating app on Facebook. There is now. a dating That's app. That's what I'm saying. Facebook. That's why I said. Oh, but Facebook is it Facebook that owns all those ones? No, no, I was no, saying I, mis I misheard you. My yeah. bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm saying that only Facebook is the only oh, one that's yeah, not yeah, owned yeah. by Which, the To me, well, that's the same. Those are for QAnon people to meet. Uh, well, they're like, <laughs> you want to get on Facebook Day? I'm like, it's not that bad yet. Well, like, no. <laughs> well, you know, once Mark Zuckerberg gets in the game, it's it's it's, it's disgusting. You game know what over. I mean? That's yeah. what it is. It's over. That dude wow, I can't inside. believe they're yeah. all owned by the same one. Even yeah, but I think this even that's your creepy. Your, your thought. Because I think on a bigger level, right? Like, and and not to get sidetracked from the specif the specificity of your conspiracy, but I think that's like what really is going on, right? Like, Amazon's a corporation, but Amazon is like back channel funding shit, and then they're making pushing initiatives to happen through. So like a big tech. Yeah. In this case, is running the dating game. They want to keep people siloed. Oh, of course. And they want to keep people clicking and swiping yeah. and fucking upgrading. Because yeah. like I, she, I had to explain to her about how you have to like you get limited swipes unless you pay for money, unless you pay oh, for yeah. it on I Tinder. I mean, you know what's good? If you get old like I am, I'm 40 now, there's so few people that you even want to swipe on. So, <laughs> and then there's so few people who want to swipe on you. Yeah. Because you've, you've kind of, I'm like like the, like a, like a dog you put to pasture. That's how I feel <laughs> on fucking Tinder but now. people who swipe on you, I think is a relative term because I, I feel like as a guy, Guys is like Tinder specifically. Guys is like a um, uh, a seller's market, and women it's a buyer's market. You have to sift through more bullshit than I do. I have to Word. be like, hey, let me True. see your boobs <laughs> that are big and cool. 
<laughs> you know, as like, opposed to the girl just has to. Hey, like, let me see the girl your has dick, to just be which like, is do okay. I, do I and like not what you're cool. saying to me? Not on Bumble. Well, Bumble, they keep. Yeah. No, Bumble, Bumble, I, they, I, Bumble. Bumble's whack. Bumble is whack, and it's the biggest bullshit. It's it's yes. it's a marketing ploy, and it's someone I used to show apartments. Uh, to like type A women with good jobs and they're very yes. controlling and that's who that appeals yes. to. But yes. you know what the bullshit about Bumble is? You're always in control, ladies. <laughs> if you don't want to talk to motherfuckers, Do you, know the deal you don't Bumble is? swipe yeah. on them. Oh, okay. What? I don't know. You oh, haven't been swiping shit. for a while. I was just yeah. making sure. But I was just making been, sure. She's been to a comedy show. So yeah. pretty sure. <laughs> that's how I learned about apps. I learned about, when I started comedy, I was in a relationship and I was like, Tinder, what is this? And then when I was single, I was like, well, you know where to go. <laughs> you know where the dick's at. Yeah. Go to Tinder. But I had no idea what it was at first. Well, what is, what is, what is your evidence of this um, conspiracy theory? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see. My personal life. <laughs> that is my evidence of it my personal life the journey and that i have even gone on on tinder i'm like i know there's some motherfuckers out there who are like fucking christiana oh she dyed her hair blonde okay that's new oh she got some tattoos right like, i'm sure there are people out there who are equally like this bitch is still on this fucking app right. years later it's like yeah there there are certain profiles i call them my anchor profiles so if i like and back if I travel, then I come back to New York. There's certain profiles where when I see them, I know that I'm uh, Tinder is back synced up to New York's uh, proximity. Now, when oh. you see you see profiles, you mean like people that you see like that people that I've seen for before. years. Yes, or maybe I've not had swiped that. on them, I've but just that. seen them. Yes, I've there's had a guy that. Ian. He's a lawyer. <laughs> I think his name's Ian. He's a lawyer. He's been on for years. His hair has been short. Now it's longer. First I thought he was a bot, but now like I'm like, oh no, his pictures are changed. He right. could still be a bot, but like that's but he, usually that's evolved. one of my anchors. That's one of my anchors. I'll be like, oh Ian, okay, I'm back in New York. Okay, yeah. here we go. He's here. But that sounds also like a bar, though. A bar is like that. You see the same regulars come in. Some people get married. Don't some don't. People... How dare you? First of all. <laughs> I like how you're telling me this like I've never been in a bar, it's, bitch. It's funny. I'm saying that as a bartender. Okay, but it's it's not the same. But as... you don't. But but I guess the difference is is that she's not bumping shoulders with him. She's just seeing him there. But it's funny you made that analogy because I was thinking like you should just reach out and you guys should have like a little reunion or something. Be like, I've seen you around. You've definitely seen me around. That's no, what I'm saying. Never... But there is that in the bar, we've right? Never... Yeah, you're yeah. like. This person's single again. Maybe like, tonight's oh, our night, yeah, baby. Like, no, no, we've never swiped on each other in like five some <clears> years. <throat> some, and then also there are people that I will come back. Like, there's someone who just reached out to me this week. This week has been a nightmare of people resurfacing. I don't understand why. Right. But whatever. I don't know. Maybe they're like, oh, <clears throat> fucking shells off. I don't know. It's Maybe in your that's moon. What it is. It's in your moon. The moon is rising. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, first of all, whenever you try that shit, Ashlyn, I never. I'm always like, does Ashley know what the fuck she's talking about? No, because you don't follow that <laughs> stuff. The moon is yeah. rising. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't follow it at all. I think it's full. I don't know if it's rising. I didn't even know that if it was full, it couldn't rise. You yeah. know, <laughs> like, that's why I was like, I don't think I've never. Okay, anyway, but uh, yeah, this guy like rematched. Oh, this motherfucker. He, uh, you know how some people are. Okay, I'm not thin, right? But I don't mask my fat like i don't wear shape or anything this guy when he showed up was so much fatter than he alluded to in his Ooh, photos that's rough and then i was like man i'm still fucking horny so well, whatever we'll deal with your fucking <laughs> you got sometimes you got to bite the bullet <laughs> i like to say i like to get my reps in okay so i'm like i gotta get my reps in right whatever i'll give this train for the fat for the good ones. right right yeah you yeah. Know, i'm sucking dick for a husband one day so yeah anyway I, I, he couldn't last that long because he's so it's fucking like fat he's out of shape the bat when you're in the pen yeah you're just like fucking if by rubbers you mean heavy. condoms sometimes no 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 no, no, no. I, mean, no I'm sure. I mean when like when you're up you on bat and they put the rubber weights on the bat before they're like up to bat word it's just like whatever okay let's move on i was just joking i knew what? that it wasn't gonna land when you started it so that's why i just kept staring at you you just that, let me drown yeah. and let her react I was, that it yeah, was yeah i was trying yeah. to make a joke i don't know Smooth. i was trying to make a joke and chris is like no no no, no. okay this is okay i was like oh i was just making a 
No, but we yeah, were talking so, about two completely different things. Well, I know. I was piggybacking Wait, so, off of what you were saying to make a joke. Right. Yeah. Oh, I see. No, let's keep explaining <laughs> that we were making jokes. A double layup. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get. Double well, layup. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch up a little bit, but stay on topic. Do you? What is your ratio and mm. and or slash your fear of like just like not being on a dating app and doing an old school style oh, real world shit? Okay, well this is this is my problem. Okay, because this is part of why I think this is your conspiracy is true because they've made it so addicting that the idea of not having it, you're like, how am I going to meet anybody? Well, I mean. Okay, this is my problem. In terms of my life, the way that it's Not a bad structured idea. is, I have tried that, but the way that it's structured. <laughs> the if there's a will, life there's is, a way, but it changes. Well like, thought. Where yeah. my <laughs> life is structured is during the day, I am, you know, a uh, husbandless housewife, <laughs> cooking, cleaning, <laughs> taking care of things, right. making complex meals for myself. And then at night I'm running around doing comedy, right? Mm -hmm. In doing comedy as a woman, it's very different than for a single man, single straight man. Tell me because, how. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, most of the people that go to comedy shows are single women. Really? So it's easy. When's the last time you had a spot, Chris? Like three years ago. <laughs> 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 it's not the pandemic. I only do this because I got all the lights and the cameras yeah. and shit. She hates me. Yeah, yeah. it's not. It's, it was pre. The pandemic didn't hurt him. It was pre-pandemic. <laughs> I really. quit long ago. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, no, you know, not, most anyway. of the people that go are like single women. So, that's so I mean, yes, you don't there are have a lot that many women. single dudes at a comedy show. If there's a guy there, he's usually there on a date with a woman. Okay. Yes. In comparison so, to single men being at shows, I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Word. But that's what I'm doing at night. But I am still in the environment to potentially meet someone because I'm in bars. I'm in restaurants. It's because single and men don't. Want to hear people talk? Well, they're like, no, no, I was no, no, no. Say, I want to get pussy. part of it too, though, because like, do you think even if there was a room full of heavy single guys that you'd get hit up? I think guys. Oh, I feel like I feel like a, the standard guy is intimidated. Oh no, they're terrified. By a funny woman, Not they're just, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. like she could. Yeah, you know. I've seen men literally I'm not like intimidated dudes. by any women. I've seen men's faces change though, <laughs> as I especially because I'm a very I dominate a room. They do not know how to deal with that then. Right. They don't know how to handle that's that shit. I agree with that. But like, that's I what I'm doing at night where most people would be meeting people. Right. So the thing that I do is the reason why I still need a dating app. Because then, or even like, okay, a couple of weeks, about a month ago, I tried to go out with a friend. Not like, we're, we're both single, but we're not like, not like a romantic comedy. Like, platonic. And then we're going to be, no, right. not like that at all. A Wrong. platonic friend. Very, 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 exactly. Yeah. I was like, yo, we need to go out and try to meet people. Good First word. of all, everywhere we went. <laughs> <laughs> great word and great pronunciation. That is true. That is, yeah, yeah. That's, that's very that true. Good. You went from both to platonic. <laughs> Your joke didn't work. Please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to I me. I know that was really yeah, bad. Yeah, Are you yeah, talking yeah. about the one from way earlier? I'm talking about with the one the with the rubber. One? Oh, the rubber. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The cancer one was worse. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> You're like, I'm still trying to recover from that one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, where, so we tried to go out, went to so many different bars. I mean, this was like a night where I was like, oh, yeah, um, we've been left behind. Like, this is the rapture. It's happened. Everyone who's died is happy. And then we're like stuck with. Anyway, we tried to go out. Every place we went out, everybody was like in their early 20s it was fucked up I was how like, old was the date or the friend the it was platonic friend? he's also in his uh early 30s so you but guys still, were going to the wrong bars well we went to several bars we went to like five six different bars bro you think okay. it's because of covid though right now maybe but i'm also like where the fuck where 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 are the single people that's the thing i was like i can understand we went to one bar and then we just quit we went to so many different spots but times maybe, are different right but now maybe but this also is what they young want, people though. i think also young people don't care about catching covid as much yes, as older people I agree. like young people are like i'm gonna like remember when covid first started like young people were buying flights remember that they were like kids in college were like i'm out to dubai i'm out to like and a bunch of kids got like you know stuck behind in countries because they went on f cheap flights so maybe like they're scared Word. so maybe that's but why it is another people... reason why i need a dating app though, right to meet people that yeah. are older so i do think what that, is going on here uh i'm just pouring just, just some water would you yeah. like some water no no i'm okay chris you don't have a coaster on that on what kate, you want, on what kate is gonna kill on me. the bottle yeah that's the stand-ins job 
Wait, here, let me get it. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so what were you saying? Um, but, you know, it's another reason why I need a dating app, though. Because I'm just like, where, where, where are the people that are older? Like, yeah. around my age. Right. So, so going on. Also, this that notion. aren't ugly. Because they're, because sometimes, the, I, okay, that's a whole other thing. But, like, I'm like, where are, like, attractive people? But a lot of people are also just, like, married. You got to get on Raya. Up. Fuck is that? Right. Ra- oh, Raya's like the fucking like you have to be like invited to okay, join. Okay, so then I'm Raya. not gonna get in. It's like celebrities. <laughs> it's like that's what it's I like thought. D-list celebrities. That's what I thought. You don't have to be a celebrity necessarily. You could probably get on Raya. How many Instagram know. followers you got? <laughs> you got to be Instagram verified to get yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I don't. Nah, nah, it's not gonna. You be. know what you should get on is the conspiracy theory um, dating app. No. Wait. First There's of all, a Ashlyn, dating app for you, conspiracy no, theorists. No, no, no. You know that um, I kept last year was it's a called, constant stream of conspiracy theory dudes. <laughs> I I don't need. They're on it's Tinder. It's called awakening. They're called Joe Rogan fans. Yeah. <laughs> it's called a Joe Rogan podcast. It's called awakening date or something like that. No. And and people will be like, yeah, me and my uh, like me and my wife uh, met when we were both woke. <laughs> and that means that they were on that dating app. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Maybe you should go on that. I already met a bunch of conspiracy theorists last year, and they were exhausting. That's where I this that it actually helped me adapt in terms of how to structure uh, a a date. Not a date. I don't really date. I just have men over to fuck. That's the thing. Right. Right. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm not like I'm not a girlfriend vibe. I'm either a whore or a wife. Well, so, okay, so no in between. A, so yeah, but this, yeah, yeah, why? Yeah. But why? That's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about this this morning, right? Like a girlfriend makes you a sandwich, right? Mm-hmm. I make like braised short ribs. <laughs> right. That's me. I'm a wife. Yeah. But if you're going to get that, I'm not going to give that to some dude. I'm just fucking who's fucking with other people. You know what I mean? Like I'm only, if we're going to have a good time, we're going to have a good time. I'll give you a glass of water. Right. Maybe a San <laughs> Pellegrino if I like you. If you did a good job. But if you're going to earn all of the like mm-hmm. me making lasagna with ricotta from scratch and the uh, fucking uh, pesto from all that shit. That's some wife shit. Now, right. does that mean you're going through all of that? I'm not going to just offer yeah. some fucking dude. But so it's like you got to go. You got to go through like tiers. I want to go from one to the other. If I can wake one up through zero. Yeah, if I, I mean one through a hundred. Yeah, if I just wake up and it's like, hey man, here's your husband. He made you some food. I'd be like, thank God, I am tired. But anyway, I'm just not that <laughs> middle stage. Okay, I've never felt that way. I've always felt like one or the other. We're either doing this or mm-hmm. we're not. Right. But anyway, this is the thing. All the conspiracy theorists it made me it forced me to adapt. Right. So last year I was to like, become a conspiracy theorist yourself. No, 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 no. Oh. Just to, to to structure the to get to the point faster, so I don't have time to talk. So I was like, this is the thing, Christiana. This is your fault because you were giving them opportunities to, to talk. talk. So right. then I started opening the door and would just have on like lingerie and a robe, and then just it would speed things up. <laughs> Right, because you don't want them to fucking open their mouth. No, and then ruin conspiracy it. Conspiracy theories are trauma. Lots of trauma. Yeah, as you know, someone told yeah. me, Chris last year. Someone told me they murdered someone. We were already done. I was like, and I had a lasagna to make too. So I was like, motherfucker, I don't. That he was not gonna have. No. <laughs> now, now I have my apartment so will be devoid so of wait, food when smells. A, when you have a date, when you have them over, are yeah. you like, all right, they're gonna be here in five minutes. I'm gonna put this lasagna in. It's gonna no. take about an hour and a half. No, no. When the I don't want them on. to no, smell no. it. She doesn't want them to be like, I don't oh, want what's them that? to even know yeah. that I fucking No, but cook. I thought I was gonna say that when the timer goes off, you're like, date's done. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> no. if they smell it and go, Can I have a piece? Exactly. She's gonna say, fuck no. Right. And exactly. if she wants to fuck them again, she can't be that rude. Right. I well, I can be that rude, but, but you don't want I to. don't want them wanting my food. Right. I told a guy last year, he was a conspiracy theorist. Mm-hmm. What I was like conspiracy theory. Too many. He talked me to death. Which one was the worst one? Uh, simulation. They were in a simulation. They were in a simulation. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the worst Classic. one. Classic. Yeah, exactly. Although sometimes when things things happen, <laughs> I'm like, so basic, maybe so he is school. right. But anyway, uh, but yeah, that motherfucker. I told him after we had hooked up, I was like, you know, what my biggest regret of last year was giving you a piece of lasagna. Like, that's my <laughs> biggest fucking regret. <laughs> Complete waste of my time. All right. How dare you? How dare you? Wait. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because how dare you, like, come in, have a piece of lasagna, and then be ain't shit, right? Like, he ain't shit. Uh, I mean, it was good dick. He got up in the attic, so that was good. No one had been up there for a while. Okay. There were some cobwebs. So I was okay, like, good I for him. Forgot I had an attic. Do you yeah. know what I'm talking about, Chris? Anal? No. Oh. 
No, no, no. Okay. This is the thing. I don't know what the attic of, means. I, I just, she of, asks, I guess. I, I don't know. I think of my pussy What's is, the attic? I this is my, why you're single. Because you don't know what the attic is. <laughs> no, I feel you like. you can't find the attic, Chris. Okay. This is the thing. I think of my pussy as a house, right? Yeah. Okay. And I date dudes with a variety of dick sizes because I date a lot of Latin dudes. And there's a lot of different genetics going on, right? Right. So some guys. That's what I say to you. We'll get to the. <laughs> Some guys, you know, I I had a, I would say most guys were between first floor, not no, not first floor, second floor range, right? Then like oh, third floor, and then you forget you have an attic. So that guy got up in the attic, he got deep in there, oh, and I was like, I oh, I forgot okay, okay. even. No one's been in the attic. He was like, damn, it's so tight. I was like, no one's been in the attic in a while. <laughs> you think he's gonna fucking know what the attic is? Word. This fucking white boy. I'd be trying to get in your butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. My ass is where my heart is, so I don't let men yeah. back there. Right. Because it still it has a shell. <laughs> it has, <laughs> it has a, a shell. shell. Yeah. Oh no, my ass is. Oh no, no, it is dangerous back there. That's yeah. I, I, that's you know I'm in love with Roberto. This guy. Yeah. Fingered my ass while he was eating me out. It was amazing. We're still. Yeah. Still. Uh, still friends. We yeah we were talking last night actually. I was like, Are Roberto, something happened at my show. And I was like, thanks for listening. But it's also like, when did you we put your fingers like, back in my ass? We, we called him like finger boy for a while, right? Uh, what a tough night you had. What yeah. is your butt feeling? No, I wish Get he asked that. I'd be like, Roberto. That's the thing. I was like, maybe I can talk to Roberto and then just start a new life <laughs> yeah. in Guadalajara with him. Yeah. Oh, he lives in. He lives in Mexico. Oh, yeah. okay. We hooked okay, up okay, over two okay. years ago. I was like, what's the big talk? deal? He lives around here. Oh, okay. No, no. Another country. You know, I would have been. Oh, no. I would have locked Roberto down by now. Shit. You know what you were saying? Like, Americans only fuck other Americans? Yes. He doesn't. He, he fucks other people, too. Yeah, I go international. Yeah. That's good. See, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. Right now, I'm working well when I first started I used to do uh, some crowd work and I asked people what the weirdest country they hooked up with was and I didn't do it for years and then I started doing it again I was like oh I'm the spirit of the Olympics and um, <laughs> isn't that great when you could weave a bit into yeah, a, a like, topical like, thing but in the spirit <laughs> of the, the yeah, Olympics yeah, yeah, yeah. have you fucked someone run from a different back. country yeah. I was like, oh, run not are you an athlete yeah. have you done any sports <laughs> But have you fucked someone from this <laughs> the country? international connection? Yeah. That's all we need. Yeah, that's Where's actually your fucking gold the five medal? rings, baby. Yeah. Word. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, most the people would, would think Olympics and um, sports, sports, and I was Athleticism. like, I was like, ah, what? I I fucked I many people from fuck. different countries. Yeah, but anyway, so when you think of I've different found... countries, you don't think about sports. You're thinking no, about I think about a finger I'm up thinking your about ass. A, a bit that I started running <laughs> but years. I was like, uh, run it back. I was you're, like, all right, let's thinking, go. You're thinking of all the good sex and the bad sex you've had with people th from other countries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then I, what I found head. out, though, is most people just fuck other Americans. Mm. Oh, Even yeah. Even in New York. We're a commodity internationally. They're like, no, oh, I, I mean, fucked this no, dumb no, no, American. No. I mean, yeah, even here it. in New York, though, there's a little bit of everyone here. That's true. Compared most people most just places. fuck other Americans in New York. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I mean, unless you're like the manager of a hostel. <laughs> or me, apparently. You know? <laughs> or me. <laughs> Maybe that's why I need to start running a hostel. Um, no, well, well, I fucked men from every continent except Australia. Where Antarctica. was the best continent? What about Antarctica? Well, not Antarctica. Come on, stop. I mean, it's a Come continent. on, what are you going to fuck? A fucking a penguin? penguin? Igloo? Maybe. <laughs> uh, igloo? They identify as they them, maybe. Oh my god. Okay. Well Chris cannot say? every episode, Chris would bring up they them. We'll bleep it out. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Um it's out what there. was your favorite continent? Oh well uh not Antarctica. Mm, not Antarctica. Uh you know, I think the well, okay. The Caribbean doesn't the Caribbean That's not a continent. I I was about <laughs> yes. Can I you know let that. her finish? Are you gonna mansplain to her? I wasn't gonna mansplain. Answer? My favorite country is Puerto Rico. They have ah. the highest success rate in <laughs> terms of making me come. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't have to think. You know, sometimes that's you, a great stat. Sometimes to know. you fuck someone. You're Most like, how? Country. You, sometimes you fuck someone that's so bad, and then you think, how did these other men learn how to fuck? Like, who right. told them? How was it taught that it's right. a cultural? But Puerto Rican men. Get it done more than anyone else yeah. for me. They have Agreed. made me come more than anyone else. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go for me. They they work somehow. It works. He right? agrees. Puerto Rican men make him come too. But yeah, but my favorite <laughs> continent. I just think I was like, man. Okay, I fuck a lot of Caribbeans, right? But it's on a continent. But then I was thinking about it. 
And then I think it, well, mm, South America with Brazil, Brazilian poppy was great. Yeah. Brazilian poppy always made me come too. Mm. But then this year, I be fucked a, hard a bunch one. of Mexican dudes. Uh-huh. And so Did you I'm meet like, all them on dating apps? Yeah, a lot of them. They're not okay. used to So I was in Mexico for four months, as mm-hmm. you guys know. And, well, I've been going to Mexico for 10 years. So they're just, there's some people, it's like a rolling, like whenever I come back, I'll, I'll hit them up. Be like, hey, I'll be back in town. Right. Uh, which is nice. You know, I got good pussy karma. So they're always hell- right. happy when I'm so, back. So wait, 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 wait. I want to, I want, I want to also solve, I want also want to concrete this, this uh, conspiracy theory. Word. So do you think that the lifestyle that you're describing and that you currently have would be possible without the dating apps? Because I also think as a stand up, you're in a unique days position. They, they aren't. I don't think these, I think just in general these days, people are too busy. Right. Like you were very busy. Not so just this, me, just so in this... general. I think people are, are too busy. They don't have time. All right. Can I and ask you something? And they're not as social as they used to be. Can I yes. ask you something? Do you think it's only the U.S. government or do you think it's the world, every single government? I think it's mainly the U.S. government. Okay. Because, like, for example, in Mexico, That's a lot all, of those dudes. <laughs> okay. It, okay. Sure. Because it's back because it's corporation money. It's not government money. That's why it's back channel money. But I think U.S. Has, has it because if you let her say her story, <laughs> you will understand why I'm asking her this. Word. Sorry, sorry. What I was going to say. To okay, because other countries, like in Mexico, for example, those dudes still have still more of a culture of meeting people in person. Yeah. They don't use the dating apps as much. Mm-hmm. So And then also a lot of the women down there are on there looking for tourists. So they're not really meeting yes. up with that many other like like they'll tell me like, oh, a lot of the Mexican girls on Tinder down here are looking for tourists or they're looking, you know, they're like looking for other shit, whatever, whatever. Why? So why, a lot of them. Why? Why are they looking for tourists? Well, I want money and food. OK. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Me I too. Want, I want money. I food. Want fucking, I didn't want <laughs> that to sounds good. Move to Mexico and get on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move all the way to Mexico when I can do it here. OK. Where? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say, Ashlyn, that would be wow. I would, <laughs> I would love to see how you would do. Because I feel like they'd be like, "Oh, I'm gonna be like, don't call me mommy." And they'd be like, "Well, they don't really do that anyway." They're too, they'd be like, they're "I so love formal. your fiery energy." They're so formal down there. <laughs> it's more, yeah. They'll, senora, senorita. It's like, all right, can we have some fun? Can we get some fucking mommy poppy energy? Yeah, can shit? you talk to me fucking dirty? Thing, I'm like, Why are you I, fucking Mexican talking to me dudes, so professional? I call them the. I, I don't they're not poppies. Like they're padres. That's how I feel about Mexican dudes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more formal. <laughs> they're padres. Well, they're padres. Yeah. The padres of Latin America. <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, some of them are padres because they have kids too young. Uh, most then, of them. Word. But anyway, <laughs> most of them. So they, but they were explaining like a lot of them. I was the first person they'd ever meet on Tinder because most women, if they're tourists, they don't necessarily speak Spanish. So there's just a language barrier. Right. And then right, also right. the Mexican girls might not be looking for them anyway. Right. Or because they're just tired of Mexican dudes. Which I, right. I kind of get. Yeah. Uh, but you get so tired I was, of New York dudes every once in a while. All the time. Yeah. I hate them all the time. <laughs> Even New York dudes yeah. I matched with in Mexico. What am I to unmatch him? Like, I was like, motherfucker, I have been back for, he was like, look who's back. I was like, I've been back for three months. <laughs> you haven't hit me up. Like you, like you saw like the, the signal go off in the sky. Like yeah. he's back. Look who's back. I've been back. <laughs> I have been back. Also, you live in Queens. In Mexico, I was like, all right, maybe got a bigger You're dick. closer in Mexico than now, you are being in but Queens, But I, like, I have no interest in you in New York. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you're too far. You're not on my like. Or just also he's an annoying, corny Queens dude. Right. Yeah. yeah. I forgot those. Yeah, in I, Mexico, you're just like whoever's closest, right? Well, I was like, all right, this is a black guy. He might have a bigger dick that might get in the attic. That's mm-hmm. what I was thinking. It was strategic. Oh, okay. And then we're back here. It's like, now there's tons of dicks, man. Right. I don't want to talk to you. And you're late. I've been back for months. <laughs> anyway, that's why I look right. who's back. I was like, motherfucker. Ah! No. Anyway, but they were explaining. But like, so people people don't really use Tinder that much. To, mm-hmm. It's not part of the culture. It's still very new to them. So even there are people who will hit me back. Like that I matched with months ago, but they haven't been on the app. So then they'll hit me back and I'm like, I'm in New York now. Right. We're done. You're late. You missed my, they're like, oh, you missed the bus. (laughs) One guy actually hit me up and he was like, oh, do you have an open mind? And I was like, I'm in New York. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm in New York. And then he still made sure to tell me that he's a cuck. And he wrote it in Spanish. I had to trans. I didn't know the word for cuck in Spanish. What is it? I don't remember now. I just saw that. And I was like, (laughs) 
Actually, Kook is a used to be a form of money in, in Cuba when there were two systems of money. See? Yeah. I wasn't that far off. Yeah, you were. I mean, you were, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, it's but a he was word. like, yeah, word. it's a Latin word. It's a word somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the word for cuck, but I was like, I don't care what you are. I'm in New York. It doesn't also, matter anymore. Like, also, cut it, cut this conversation cool. off. No, I'm in New York. But also, it's like, how would, okay, I wanted to be like, how would you being a cuck work for me? Are you yeah. are I you in a watch. relationship with a man and I would fuck the dude? Yeah. He wants to or watch. Who am I, I fucking that you were involving <laughs> me in the cuck scenario? I think oh, he right. wants to like you guys hook you guys meet up and then he watches you swipe and you hook up with someone right. else and he watches. Oh, who's got the time for that <laughs> shit? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that, maybe that's what who you has the time i don't have the time i'm on first of all in theory let's say i'm just on vacation you think all my vacation be like hey yeah let's work out your cuck fantasy yeah i got uh you know yeah, i have time go. to coordinate exactly another human. oh my dive yeah. isn't for another few hours yeah you're like if i find someone else maybe i'll hit you up but like get out of my timeline also i'm in new york yeah but anyway yeah so, so are, do you think you're having so i know i'm sort of this is a similar question what i asked before but do you think that even back in new york you're having the same you would have the same problems if you didn't have the app like do you think you'd still even be having the conversation about like congratulations dude you're a cock but like i don't really want to coordinate all that um, right now um you know it's been so okay i i typically don't meet men in person so i feel like the conversation just told like i hooked up with a guy that i met at a bar a couple weeks ago well, I wasn't very good, but anyway. So okay, so but, but I but but I was thinking, I'm like, oh, this is weird. We're just going to my house now. And I was like, this is what people do all the time. Yeah, right. But so but so, and that's kind of what I'm getting at, which is like to try to to try to back up the conspiracy, which is like, I don't get a sense from you that the stories you're telling and like your experience with it is necessarily like all negative like it almost seems convenient sometimes oh no rather I mean, than it being yeah uh i don't know life would be better without it Ooh, uh, okay i've had a lot of fun i can't lie yeah tinder, I've, had right, a, I've had right. a lot of fun from tinder right but ultimately i don't want to be a whore i want to be braising some short ribs for a motherfucker right. so if you're looking for love in a relationship yeah. that is the problem i uh, so you, do you think the government sorry yeah, do you no, think go, the go, government go, go. like stops you from I feel meeting? like I'm going to be on a watch list and they're going to be banned <laughs> from Tinder and then I'm just going to be like some old decrepit. They're going to be like, she's figuring us out. Exactly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you got a problem with us, huh? We haven't given you enough dick over the years. The bitch yeah. knows. Yeah. 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 Um, important people listen to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would be scared if I was you too. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I was going to get back on the phone and be like, Tinder's gone. Okay, Yeah. Sorry. yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Someone texted me that they're extremely tired. That's exactly what I want. Men are, that's, that's so the up, real problem. No, that's the real problem of getting old everyone's just tired and they just tell you all the time it's like i'm tired too but i'm not gonna tell you yeah because then you're not gonna get a good fuck from them exactly because you're tired yeah Yeah. exactly if you're tired how are we gonna fuck yeah Yeah. Yeah. no you're good (laughs) what were you saying sorry (laughs) i I mean i forgot at this no you were saying something about the government do you think the government's controlling do you do you think the government keeps you from meeting the love of your life like do you think there is a a certain thing that they do that they're like no don't give christiana like a nice man who works hard and just wants to be cooked for they're like give christiana someone who steals her pellegrino like you think Mm. do you think they're like sorting these people out i don't think it goes that far i think that they just created a culture where first of all we're too busy we're too busy to really like be as social and go out as much right that's like number one thank you word that's like number one and then we're dependent upon electronics and apps and blah, 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 blah. so i think it's not a matter of like literally being like we're gonna fuck over i don't think it's a personal thing especially when you see people that have also been on for mm-hmm. years that's when you're like it's not just me we're all trapped it's a lifestyle here. It, for it, some people it's like a lifestyle so they're word. just benefit they, they didn't cre- they created the monster but let the monster like feed itself yes yes but, so they're just watching and not doing anything but they're benefiting from it yeah right? i don't think there's a man locked up in an apartment like i have to get to her she's the one 
again. Yes. And they're like, and they're like, no. I don't think it's like that. I think it's just a matter of like, oh yeah, we'll just we'll just let these motherfuckers think they got all the options in the world, and then keep, right. and then and then just keep them swiping. Right, because the minute you get bored in a relationship that may yeah. be, be that may have be fruitful from Tinder, Very true. If things aren't going maybe the way that you want them to be, it's so easy to be like. Whoop. What are my options? I'm see what else is well, going it's, yeah. it's that thing I was talking it's, about where everything is instant, right? Where like right. if before you had to like like let's say like your parents or Kate's parents, right, who are still together, if before like they didn't be like, well, I we met in college, like where else am I going to meet a nice young man? You know what I mean? It's kind of right. like it's kind of that thing where let's let's work it out. But now it's like you know what? I don't fucking like you because whatever. Yeah. Now this guy. I can swipe right on 10 guys who have what I don't like about you. Right. You know what I mean? I don't fucking like you because of your fucking hair. Now I can have like 10 right. guys who have beautiful hair. And it's like picking a movie Too many on options. Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. You're just yeah, like, no, oh, 100%. what am I going to do? Right. I will say this though. Uh, when I think about, like when I first started getting into my, what I call the high ho in days of my life, right? Yeah. Which were what years? Hi ho. I would say it's like, uh, well, <laughs> around when I joined in, although I was hoeing it up before that. Okay. In my late 20s. Yeah, when you turn the fucking, like, like I'm 34, and when I'm like, no Tinder, that doesn't stop me. You How do you I'm meet saying? people then? In you person? You start going into the black book. You don't want to. You don't want to get this. This. No, I'm. I'm. I'm very fascinated. No. What no, do you no, do? Like, like, will you like? You start like, like, okay, who do I know? Grassroots. That's like single. Grassroots. Like, yeah, you know, like fucking. Sounds like you're going the to black a- book. Like, it's almost like like you have like the book of like numbers. You're like, all right, who do I know? That's like not married. What's up? You know, you start going to bars. No, I don't have. It that gets many. dark for Chris. Yeah, it, I find no, ways. That's, yeah, that's, I'll go that's, into the sewers yeah. if I have to. I'll fucking find a way. That, that you sounds ever totally Chris? normal. <laughs> if you no, no, that sounds normal. But I just don't have enough. Like I, when I think of like, oh, it's usually somebody that I can't stand. And I'll go back and like reach back out. Yeah, to of them. course. That's what I'm saying. The black book. It's the book you never want to take out. You got to blow the. You gotta blow the dust off and be like, yeah. All right, let's I'll usually, in. for me, it's the blocked list. I'll be like, did I? Maybe I'll you unblock. You start going to your yeah. block list. Uh, text. I've I'll done unblock that. this motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, Maybe, no. <laughs> but now I just now I have no patience. I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't. So have you ever? So so your hoeing phase, you said it was twenty something. And my and my when I have okay, so I was married. Have you ever from, been? Here's my question. Have sorry. you ever been? No, no, no. You're I good. Like nobody. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. no. I just want to get my questions out because then I don't. Weird, then, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. this is fa- like it's fascinating. Think about this. I've been in a relationship for almost like six years now. So like nice flex, bitch. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, that's Thank great. You. No, Thank that's you. No, it Thank is you. Good. I appreciate it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, I am better that's than you. That's the gold. Yeah. That's the gold. <laughs> I am better than you. But so I my can't question. Make pot roast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make braised chicken. Who wants pot roast? Or whatever, yeah, whatever you make. Braised, I said uh, braised short beef, ribs. Short ribs, sorry. Short That's ribs. even better than pot roast. It is. That's why I like pot roast. Sorry. Fucking I do like leave a good it to beaver roast. shit? What the fuck? Okay, go ahead. Sorry. What's your question? <laughs> pot roast. I am also hungry, though, so I was like, man. I'm starving. So I'm starving. pot roast yeah, would be good. let's get some food after this. Okay, go ahead. Um, so, so, have you been off Tinder since you've been on it? Yes. And you gave yourself a break. Oh yeah. Why did you give yourself a break? Uh, cause you hate it. Tinder's like fucking garbage. I mean, yeah. the the messages that I was reading before, like once we got started, yeah, you get tired. It's like it's like uh, taxing. Cause there's a lot of terrible people on Tinder mm-hmm. and robots. That's why I was like, I was like, I never thought in the future that I would be able to like get hit on by a robot before. Yes. So that's it. Just gets to be. But when you have motherfuckers, cons- especially now, men are like. I think because of quarantine, men have been alone. They've been watching a lot of porn. They're looking at OnlyFans. And they're used to women what. doing what they want. And a lot of it's just sexual, just like yeah. sexual-based, not real contact, right? So I think that's why men are bolder than ever, just being like, hey, how, hey, hey, what's up? Nice boobs. Nice boobs. <laughs> boobs, boobs. Which I don't like the word boobs, number one. I yeah, think like boobs wh- are much smaller than mine. But I also, like, you 13. 
tits. That's what you I've said to men. I've been like, are you, a, are you, a, are you, a, are you a child? Yeah. Like one man I said, I was like, listen, you're 42 years old. Is it the best Breasts. you got? Boobs. Nice boobs. boobs. I was like, oh, because that was a guy that I matched with. We would unmatched. Then we matched again. I forgot why I unmatched him. And then when he went in with that, I was like, oh, now I remember why I unmatched if, him. Yeah, could you, you say can't boobs? Do better. If you can spell a word with numbers, it's not a good word. Facts. Yeah. That's well, you can do that true. with heaven. Right? Heaven. Right? What's How the, do what number is the age? Yeah. I forget. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> what oh, number is oh. the age? Oh, I guess a f- upside down four. Three. Yeah. Then what do you do? A. You could do three. Um. How, I forgot. What were they teaching just, in public schools for you? Dude? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fucking nothing. You can the do reason that with why, heaven. It's like what? <laughs> the only reason why I know that's because of beepers. Like, remember when you used to be able oh, to like? Yeah, beeper. Yeah. Di- yeah, yeah. So my sister had a beeper, whatever. So whatever. <laughs> well, wait. So it's funny you brought up bots, though, because this Word. was part of this was part of some of the like the shit I looked into, right? Yes. And part of what, since thinking about your conspiracy, since yes. it was you know told to me, I was like, okay, but there's all these fucking dating apps that I actually think are just like bot apps. Oh, like yeah. the whole app, the whole everything is like, like. It doesn't actually really connect you to anybody like real. Yeah. And the whole thing is like a fucking scam. Have you seen this shit? No. So like, like I've seen it before, but like, like I'll read some, like there's like, there's one called our time. This is a dating site for o- an over 50 crowd. I was in the going United to say States that sounds like old people. I was right. gonna be like, Chris, who, what kind of grandma are you trying to bang? What the silver fuck? singles? <laughs> no, I found this list of like all these old- large friends. That's for fat people. Large, yeah, is a dating site designed especially for BBW BHM. I don't know what that acronym is. And admirers. BHM is Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only thing I have. Those mean. Nikes. What the fuck? Well, and the, um, well, the woman on it is it's a white lady. Then there's Woo Plus. Oh, I guess that's also a BBW. What? Yeah. Oh, fitness singles. Like who's like who's actually subscribing to these things? And I Word. think part of like and i don't know exactly how it connects but they have to be related is that there are just like bot apps that That makes people just sign up for because like someone's like i like fitness and i want to find a partner (laughs) so like there's got to be a place where you can just google fitness dating app partners yeah and then fitness singles comes up it's like a chode on a bike well what's this phone situation you got what is this Oh, I don't know. It's 1993, and his. It looks light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is um, very light. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I can see some people on there, but I can see them putting in bots to like refresh it. You know what I mean? Right. And, and make you see that, like, yes. that, like, oh, there's a lot of options. So I could see like the bots being like fillers, but I could definitely see people like that. Well, no, like, but I'm a I, I do guy. think that I do think that a lot. Of, I mean, even on Tinder, you have a lot of bots. It's like investor fraud. Yes. It's like, oh, let's make it seem like we have all these. But yeah. they're just gonna collect data. Yeah, we have all yeah. of these. We have all these. Oh, sometimes I can tell when someone's trying to run a fucking survey, and I'll I'll call them on it because they'll they'll they'll. There's a certain um, sequence of questions, and I'm like I'm like, oh, it sounds like you're doing a survey, and then all of a sudden they'll disappear. Yo, oh. they're doing surveys on Tinder. They have to Yo, be. It's fucking wild. Well, you know it's what fucking I wild in there. You know what I see? Half of fucking, t- or like, I'd say like a third of Tinder is women just trying to get you to follow them, to follow their Snapchat, to oh, follow yeah. them on their OnlyFans. Like, they're not even on there Word. to be Date. being anybody. Yeah. yeah. And, like, the way their shit's set up, you're yeah. just like, yo, you're just trying to get me to fucking follow I think all your uh, social media I only shit. know about that stuff from the men who get bitter, and their profiles be like, I'm not here to follow you. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. No matter how bitter I get, I'm like, I can't have a bitter profile. I can't yeah. know how I feel. I can't be like, I'm not tall. Everyone thinks I'm tall for some reason. I can't be like, I'm not tall, and don't talk about my boobs right away you know what don't I mean? ask me if i'm fucking tall right yeah, like, yeah, like that's I, so I'm aggressive like, I'm like, you can't do yeah, that yeah you can't but be i'll bitter. like find out data from other from just like looking at bitter men i'm like or like i'm not gonna give you any money i'm like oh bitches in here asking for money like that 
They're probably asking for money the way guys are like, I like your boobs. Some people are prostitutes. Yeah. They'll they'll, they'll use Tinder to be prostitutes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've seen that shit. Yeah. Wait, so so do you think, so, yo, it's crazy. You could tell right away when you see their profile. You could tell right away. Yeah. There's there's certain things on there where you're just like, oh, yeah. Dollar signs with numbers after. Yeah. 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 (laughs) They're like, credit card. $200. Credit card emojis. Yeah. Yeah. And a link to their registry for the gifts they want. Oh, I should do that. Oh, yeah. I should do that on my, like, Instagram profile. Yeah. Yeah. If you're following me, buy me a gift. (laughs) Yeah. That'd be nice. It's crazy yeah, right? that people it's crazy that people and that like almost makes more sense to me, right? Like like why not exploit the app to try to get something out of it? What I think's weirder is like the profiles I see where they're like, I'm not on here for hookups. I'm not <laughs> on here for friends with benefits. I'm not on here. It's like a list of don'ts. Yeah. And then yeah. they're like also, swipe left if you voted for Trump. It's just like, yeah. what has this app done oh, yeah, to yeah, you yeah, as yeah. a person? Yeah, the, like, yeah. the veterans. Like, like, you... The veterans. It's, it's sad what the app has done to them. and like, But also, it's like, bitch, why the fuck are you even looking for love on here anyway? Word. Can I tell you? You're it's like, you shouldn't. Tinder. Like, if you're going yeah. to get Tinder... On, get on fitness singles if or some you're, shit if get, you're, on, uh, get on j-date if yeah, you're jewish if or you're, something if you're if you're on tinder you should have an open mind like well, you shouldn't come s- in with no's yeah like yeah. clearly you're not in a position to be coming in with a bunch of no's and not in a bad way oh, damn bitch <laughs> no that, but not in cut a- deep yeah <laughs> oh for real for real oh my exoskeleton <laughs> no, it's been cracked <laughs> Is that batter? I feel oh, I'm being boiled. <laughs> you will make a beautiful sandwich. <laughs> I, I'm not a sandwich, bitch. I already said that. I'm just kidding. Okay. So, so you know what I mean? Like to me, and it's not that. It's just like you're clearly like you came on this website on this app to look for something, right? right. So take for a step, quote unquote, real. I will, right. Well, I will say this though. I put up for a while like hookups aren't my vibe because I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to just constantly increase my body count. Yes. And because <laughs> because also too many dudes who aren't okay, this is the thing. You're either about that whole life or you're not. You're either a person who fucks a lot or you're not. Yeah. And there are too many men who haven't fucked in months that just need something and then they're gonna go back into hibernation. Right. So that's why like for me, I was like, maybe at least it lets men know like I want something consistent. I don't want to fuck you once, then you hit me up in two months to fuck again. Especially, I want yeah. to you fuck someone consistently. Right. Right. That's what I'm looking. So I would, I put up. I just, but I didn't say no because that's a very negative. That's thing. what I. That's yeah, what I was gonna yeah, say. That's the difference. When right, you right. said that, I was gonna say yeah, but that sounds. You're just saying I'm not looking for hookup vibes, right? That's what you said. Hookups like, aren't my vibe. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Like, and then I deleted it, so I was like, I'm horny. <laughs> You, you just I'm copy like, paste it. Did you notice Kill numbers? Did you, you seem like a person who's kept some stats. Have no have numbers gone down when you put that up? No, I just was like, when I got back to New York, I was like, oh, we don't want. So I was like, this is the thing. I think when people have, haven't had sex for months, they start to get in their head about it, and then they get weird and shit. And I was like, oh no, you can't be that bitch. And I was also very horny, and very tense. So I was like, you gotta, you gotta. You gotta make it happen. You gotta make. Yeah. You gotta somehow. But then, actually, I ended up hooking up with someone that I met on Tinder years ago, who happened to be in town, and he's Puerto Rican. And it was good. Yeah, it was cool. It was fun. Great. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we we're still up there. Right. No, Puerto. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't think most Puerto Rican men country. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but it's interesting you say that because, and I've thought about this too, which is what's interesting, right? Like, because I do think there's something. Uh, interesting about like you're able the apps allow you I guess even specifically with Tinder to sort of like live a certain type of lifestyle versus if you didn't have it right but what I also think is interesting is like even if you were to be like well there's no dating apps I'm just gonna go out to bars and meet people in person and maybe you're still like as you said, having like ranking up a body count. Yeah. Right. But you're doing it like old school style without the apps. What's interesting is, is like now if you meet someone on Tinder and then you exchange numbers, I mean, you can find out a lot about a person by just getting their number. You can find out their fucking Instagram. You can find out their fucking Facebook. You can find out all kinds of shit and it's free and it's public information. And like you actually get to know somewhat more about a person before you meet them versus if i'm I'm like 
a few drinks in and I meet you at a bar and we're like hitting it off and yeah. then we go home and sleep together. It's like, you probably know less about that person. That is how I felt when I hooked up with a guy at the bar. I was like, I don't know anything about this motherfucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, this is what people do all the time. Oh, like the vibe is good? the vibe is right. Yeah, I'm like, but you could good? have like a what? Did it feel good? Like, I mean, it felt good to be able to pull a dude, but in IRL. Yeah, but it was also like, I mean, the sex was uh, his dick was too big. Okay. I missed the exit. It was getting in the chimney. sometimes a big yeah. dick is like an express train, dude. <laughs> it was I mean, past, it the, was past attic. the attic. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it the chimney is a no go. Great, yeah. only Santa. He also just didn't know what he was. <laughs> he wasn't he very good. Yeah. He wasn't very good. Uh, yeah. So uh, I mean, there are plenty of big dick dudes not to fuck properly, but and then he came quickly, but he didn't enjoy it. It's like if one of us is gonna come, and that's right. you. Put on a show. What the fuck? Right. We're the only yeah. one coming right now. Right. Yeah. I don't like when men come and then they act like they didn't come and they just, their limp dick just slips out of you. It's like very nonchalant. You're like, are you, oh, so you're done? Yeah. So you're done, 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 done. Could you have made a sound? I should have just found someone on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. I mean, oh, he was a good cuddler though. He did say over he was a good cuddler. But then also he got a bunch of food because it was late and we were both hungry. And I was like, Oh, yeah, I'll give you some pasta. I told him like usually I wouldn't give a motherfucker anything, but it's late. You got you know, yeah, fuel the tank. Did you go again? Did you go for round two? We had sex uh two or three times. Okay. In one night? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. No, they were all You're pretty like, Please. terrible. <laughs> but none of I've them done were twelve. None of them were good. You amateurs? Yeah. yeah, but none of them were good. So that's why, like, towards the... At one point, was, he put his fingers way too far up me. And I was like, oh, I think you're... He went too far. Like, chimney again. You're yeah, at the chimney, chimney again. Yeah, I was like, yeah. chimney. Get out of the chimney. Yeah. I don't know why your finger's up there. Also, you know, I, Mexican dudes are great at fingering. And this guy was Cuban. I was like, this ain't your shit, bro. You leave it to the To the Mexicans. Mexicanos. You should have told them Leave that. it to the padres. No, you I just was like, all right, well, let's, you know... Yeah, I'm not trying to have some bow tie leftover pasta and get out of my apartment. Bow tie, please. please. I don't know. I've had bow, bow tie pasta in years. Yeah, I'm doing like a pasta salad. Depends on what type of deal you're doing. I'm I don't a, think I'm you know her if you think she's gonna make a fucking kind of pasta bitch. salad. I'm not opposed to any pastas. I was just th- saying. I mean, the funny but don't pasta. talk about her like that. So. Yeah, <laughs> you're like don't I got gnocchi. Did she say she <laughs> likes to make like what was it short? Short rib braised, braised yeah, short braised, rib. Yeah, braised, red wine braised. Yeah, you think she makes ribs. bow tie, bro? With yeah, bow tie. Bow tie. Do you think she makes she pa- one think... type of the many pastas? Bro, depends bro, on bro. It's a little you, basic. Though. Yeah, you think she makes fucking pasta? My salad? man, I didn't fucking know I was throwing such? out a basic. Come on, bro. Fine. What's a, what's Come a, what's a, what's a good pasta? Give me a good pasta. What pasta should I set? Up? Should I have said? Parpadel. Yeah, Par- parpadel. Parpadel. You don't even know what that is. I would have said something like fucking rigatoni or something, not fucking bow tie. Rigatoni. Rigatoni is better than bow tie. Yeah, thank you. Bow tie barely. Me is barely. Like, but it is. No, it don't, but don't act like you know what Papadelli is. And the, and the but ridges don't act like you know what love soft. is. So. <laughs> <laughs> she said, oh, you know what love is? She goes, don't describe what love is. And I go, describe it. Ashlyn, <laughs> you're really, wow, man. It's all right. Yeah, his parents loved him. He went to great schools. Yeah, yeah. I don't that's, feel. I don't fucking feel bad for this. That's great for you. I'm, I'm just, no, she I'm, I feel like I'm taking. I'm like, oh, yeah. What is love? You know what happened like last summer? I, I keep throwing him subs, uh, and you keep thinking that's I'm the you. closest one to you, bitch. <laughs> no, I get the ricochet. No, there's no friendly fire. It's all. Let me tell you something. Last year, I remember last summer I was listening to a love song and I was like, I got nothing. I was like, it was like a, it was like a song about regrets and like talking about someone. I was like, I am not thinking of one man that I would think, oh yeah, you know what? I really wish I had so and so back. That's the best feeling. Not at forty when you're tired <laughs> okay. and you and your plants right. are dying. That's not no. <laughs> you want to feel something when you hear R and B. Not not when you're a bitch who can make yeah. her own really good food and somehow you're still single. Right. And then yeah. some sandwich bitches yeah. have husbands who love and support them. No. But they're just sandwich bitches. Exactly. So they shouldn't even be on that level. Men right. are basic. Yeah. Well, I got baklava bitches. Well, m- men like <laughs> two a.m. baklava. Yeah, yeah. They made bak- them? No. no, I have baklava always at my apartment, and then I don't want to get dinner with them, and then I'm like. You, and then after sex, I'm like, you want some baklava before you go? That's yeah. nice. Yeah, a little yeah, baklava nice for the road. It's from Whole Foods. Yeah, that's right? right. I get it from Westside Market. Okay, close. Yeah. Classy. That's right? classy. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a one-week expiration date. I'd be nice if someone date. offered a... <laughs> yeah. Someone offered me some baklava, I'd be like, this motherfucker, maybe I should try to lock down. Yeah, he's cultured. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, I'll, but I like home field advantage. 
No, I like away games. No. <laughs> I prefer away games. Well, that's I good. Don't... Women like home, home advantage? And no, he likes that's just wo- me. I'm a cancer, man. We're all about the home. I don't want to go Because it's your else. show? You don't want to leave I your show? I don't want to go shit. I went to, uh, not that far away from here, I fucked a dude. Uh, actually, he was half Dominican, half Puerto Rican. Dick way too big. And then also... <laughs> Another chimney guy. No, it was too thick. What's up with these chimney oh. guys? I was like, man, you ain't going to bust this pussy. Ah. Yeah, you, you haven't gotten through the hallway This is what's yet, annoying, though. actually. I always ask... You know I always ask for a dick pic, right? He didn't give me one. He's like, I'd rather show you in person. And then I was like, this is why, because it's too wide. Most of them would be like, I'm not going to fuck you. Yeah. Anyway. Was uh, it a a, a, ch- a chode? Would you call it a chode? Isn't that what a chode? A dick a is, chode is thicker than it is long. No, no. It's it small was, and thick. A it chode was, is small It was a thick. nice size, uh, right. but it was very wide. And I was just like, hmm. It was very wide. And also, he just had no... He was a Pisces, actually. Sorry, Kate. But he had no... He There was no vibe. Kate is a choke. I told him... <laughs> I, I was like... Because the thing, he was like, I'm a whole vibe, right? And then when he got there, he just pulled his dick out while watching Netflix. I go, that's your vibe? That's your vibe? But you said your vibe is meeting them at the door with lingerie. That's still a vibe. That's his vibe. Taking no, his dick out watching. Lingerie that. sets a mood, bitch. That's a vibe. Just pulling your dick out yeah, while you're no watching All American on Netflix yeah, yeah. is not a vibe. Dicks are abrasive. And I said to him, I was like, oh, I know. He just literally. <laughs> I, I know. Don't fuck with him. Yeah. <laughs> you're spe- you're, you're, what is it? Preach it to the choir, baby. Word. Lingerie is, is a vibe. I'm dressed no, I up. It's b- that but sets a sexy tone. But just we're watching Netflix and you just pull your dick out. You only got a fan <laughs> on. But that's what the man thinks it's sexy. No, he knew because I told him. What if him. he put like? What I actually told him. What if a guy showed up wearing like some like a th- like a thong when and like his dick in like a thing? You know, uh, like an elephant that's thong. Too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah his like, dick is no, yeah, that's he's like, weird. He's dressed like, like a stripper. What are you, you doing know? that for? Be like, hey, oh, I'm just trying to set thong? a vibe. He's got like yeah. a little like Japanese so what robe you, on. And Chris just I would think that he'd want to fuck a dude. I'd be like, yo, I know some men. I'd be like, yo, man, if you want to get on Grinder, Chris just wants to know if he should show up to your house like that. I do away games dressed in a kimono. Yeah. Uh, that's what he was asking. Appropriator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, no, it wasn't about. But also, he didn't offer. I was I'm like, yo, it's fucking hot. He was like, it's hot in here. I'm like, this is your apartment. You didn't know <laughs> it's hot. And then he just offered me like, I had to ask him like, can you give me a glass of water? He was like, oh yeah, sure. I was like, this is why I like a home game. Yeah, because I have my own glass of water. I have Pellegrino. Right. I got and you all make my juice, shit. right? I got you a can of juice. my own the bed. Shit. Right now, actually, it's funny. Yeah. Before I came here, I've been on a hibiscus kick. Mm. So okay. I, I uh, yeah, I need to buy some more sugar. But I was like, oh, my, I just strained this hibiscus before mm. with some ginger, a little bit of clove. The Egyptians what does see a guy that as a romantic do? tea. What? <laughs> they what? do. I've been there. They talk about a, that shit. What is this? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's no. a very romantic flower in the Egyptian oh. culture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been drinking it like crazy. Oh, there you maybe go. You putting could, out some vibes. Yeah. Maybe you're feeling romantic. I, I I am a romantic. Cancers are romantic. I know you're a romantic. I am a romantic. But maybe you're but feeling more. I can't more... be romantic with these fucking dudes. Right. Because you can't they're be just romantic with dudes. Their dick. Just like here's my dick. And I told him I was like, yo, I'm sure you're used to a lot of women being like, oh my god, your dick's so big, just sucking it. I was like, that bitch ain't me. But then I was like, yo, get your reps. Women in. do that. I could tell by his vibe, he's used to women catering to him. Yeah. And I told him, that's not me. Actually, in the middle of sucking his dick, I was like, I'm just going to go. I was like, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to leave. It's just, <laughs> that's what I'm that's good for you. You should. Yeah. I was like, you're not even touching me or anything. Like, what yeah. is this? Yeah. I was like, I'm not the bitch. I was like, listen, I'm sure women are like all like, oh my God, because you like have muscles and shit. I was like, I've seen a lot of fucking get dudes with good bodies. I don't really care. And then, right. then we finally started having sex. It was all right. But then, yeah, he, this, oh. Wow, talk about shoving down trauma and then it regurgitating. <laughs> How have I never talked about this out loud? This motherfucker <laughs> came quickly and then tasted the cum to see if it was his. What? <laughs> Who does he think he it is? Whoa, That's what whoa, I said. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you What's mean? What's the breakdown on this? I forgot this. Ho- I hold on. About this first at of all, all, hold on. First of hold all, on, that's some on. hardcore snowballing shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go through it step by step. There's a lot of steps here. Yeah, there weren't that deep. many actually. One, who did he think it belonged to? That's what I said to him. Was there I another said, man well, in the not, room? What's I said? I'm like, well, it's not mine. I didn't come, so it's got to be yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Second, second question. I roast the fuck out of these dudes. I, I don't have I don't have the bandwidth. <laughs> it was so stupid. It's like, why you gotta taste your own gum when it's obviously yours? Right. Right. 
Second question. Do you have a question? No, go. Oh, go, okay. go, go. Second question is um, how often is he tasting his own cum I don't to know. make sure that it's his, right, like, that he knows the taste? This is it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is or mine. also, there's this, a hint of someone else, but it's mine. Right. Yeah. Just I'd that. like to think that I could do that, but I'll be honest, definitely wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> to taste yeah. your own cum? No, to be able, like if you put, if you blindfolded me and put someone else's cum. No, like six and cups of cum. Yeah. And I had to try all the cums, I wouldn't be like, <laughs> this one's mine. This, this one is 75% no Irish and Italian. I want, this is my I cum. actually kind of yeah. now think I'm going to make sure I can do that because if ever put in that situation, <laughs> I want to be able to know. Yeah. But I wouldn't. There's no fucking Because here's my thing. That's if a great point. If you were dating a girl, right? If you were dating a girl and you put like five vaginas in front of you and you had to lick them blindfolded, you'd know which one is hers, 100%. right? Right? 100%. Like, you would know which one I is the guy so. you're dating, right? If you right? rhythm enough, yeah. But if it's your own, I'm like, I have no fucking no really clue. clue. Yeah. No clue. So how often That's does he do point. it? That's a good point. I didn't think about that. I yeah. just thought this is no, I have many, such I have a many waste questions. of time. That's why I don't leave my house. <laughs> All I thought was, this is why I motherfuckers come to me. I yeah. had to leave my house for this bizarre interaction to happen. Yeah, he, so yeah, he, I stopped. I was like, yeah, I think we're going to go. Like, this is kind of stupid. Like, you're not touching me at all. Mm-hmm. I'm getting nothing out of this. And he's like, all right, fine. <laughs> oh, fine. But see, this, then, all right, fine. Right, exactly. but this, all right, fine. But this, fine. You, you win. Fu- but that's fucked up. You win. I'll fuck you. Won't make you come. And hey, I'll come. You'll be you back. Win. You'll be back. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> you win. They always come back. They probably do because women have less confidence and less options than me. Yeah. Because, because of the fucking got- apps. I'm telling you, these apps, sometimes I talk to girls and they're like apologizing for shit because they didn't answer me. For like an Word. hour after I message him, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't fucking care. Like, I, I think it's because the women are not uh, but I do it too, are though, confident. Sometimes. Like I, I don't have any patience because I know I do have options. I also think that's that right. women. Thing. I, I know that we, me, between my personality, my pussy and my cooking abilities, I know who the fuck I am. And I right. also know there are a ton of motherfuckers that have fucked me and want to fuck me again and in the future want to fuck me that's why i got no patience why i told the guy like yo man i'm sure most women are a certain way but that's not that i'm not that bitch like if we're not gonna have it this isn't gonna be a good time and you just want me to suck your dick yeah i'm gonna go because i know i could be sucking someone else's, else's dick or somebody could be actually fucking me and i could be enjoying and it. making right. you come i also feel like women are just apologetic in general like in general Oh yeah, we're, I feel like we feel like we to have to apologize. Like yeah, yeah. Like sometimes someone will bump into me. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, and I'm like, no, no, no. They bumped into you. Word. You know what I mean? Right. But it's it. But but going off the the conspiracy thing, I feel like that plays into what you're talking about with the conspiracy, though, because it has created a new sort of attitude towards dating. Yeah. Like yeah. like guys, guys or women, yeah, can be insanely cocky and just be like like that and that kind of also goes into my thing about like guys it's like a seller's market right like every time a guy sends you something that's like a crude introduction message right Mm -hmm. my thought is like well they probably do that to like every woman that they match with of course so it's like throwing a net out yeah and when you pull the net in there's going to be some fish caught in the net and there it's just this numbers game where that's how it's been in bars yeah, yeah, I guess that's, that's true. That's how it's been in bars. I guess, you I guess that's like, true. I think that's how men date in but general. But somehow the damage seems worse. I think the thing about... <laughs> somehow the damage seems worse I think with it's the now that apps. they're able to not do five, now they can do 5,000. Yes. Right? Word. So it's yes. like their ratio is higher, so then they're like more confident because Word. it's like, dude, you don't have to go to a bar and work hard. Like if you said that to a girl's five girls' face, you're going to get slapped by two, you're probably going to get stabbed by someone's boyfriend and you might score with one. You know what I'm saying? But with this internet, it has like the safety net where girls, yeah, either people they ignore feel you. Emboldened. Yeah, it's the internet stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so the government, you know, to wrap this all up, the government is involved. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
So we Wait agree. Wait a minute. What if it's this? What if it's this? What if the government and the people working at NSA, what if they're like real fucking pervs and they're just They have all the so information. They, can't they have wait all the to information. Like hear all these conversations. They're like, oh, she's got another one on the hook. And they're just sitting with their dicks out, waiting, jerking off. 100%. They, and they, then a, right, a guy writes, nice boobs, and they just come. They're like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah. We got another I one. We got he, another one. He, he did he double Nice z- boobs, yeah. He did a double zero. Yeah. 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 That's an extra big boob. Yeah. <laughs> Work. All right, guys, that's been our podcast. <laughs> Wait, oh, okay, okay. Are we going to do a Would You Rather? Uh, yeah, you want to do a Would You, you Got One? You oh, I didn't have excited. one, but I can, I can think of yeah, one quick. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so okay. So we do a Would You Rather, and oh. you have to, uh, at the, um, we're going to count to three. At three, you have to decide the, which one you would choose. Fuck. So go ahead. Okay. Okay, okay. Would you rather, um, there be no dating apps at all and you still got to keep up the body Ooh. count that makes you feel comfortable or you can only go on fitness single <laughs> for the rest you of your life. You could have chose a worse one, man. <laughs> fitness single is not that bad. You better buy a bike. Have you seen my body, bitch? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, but How your do you options. think I'm going to do on fitness single? <laughs> yeah, but your single. options are going to be like Russian <laughs> bots and then like people who have like People Social who want issues. you to run a marathon. Yeah, with them. yeah. Oh, dude. Okay, so sorry. Are you gonna okay. do a countdown? Yeah. No app or uh, fitness single. Are you doing a countdown? Uh, I was, sure. I was told yeah, I had a countdown. Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, no apps. <laughs> no apps. <laughs> no apps. You're Which like, I also think is the answer to your Me and my tits will get out of town. We'll be like, oh, whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll, I'll Excuse start. me. I'll you mean you and your boobs? Exactly. Your boobs. Me yeah. and my boobs. will we'll, we'll hit the fucking. Yeah. You know what's actually funny? We were talking just real quick. We were talking about like my first high hoeing days, my late twenties. I wrote a note to myself. I used to. That's how I, I used to write funny things to myself. Before I started writing jokes, and I wrote a note to myself that said, "Me and my pussy are gonna break some hearts." That's like, <laughs> that was like. It was like me at like 28. I was like, oh, get ready, motherfuckers. I'm back out. <laughs> Were you lying? I was not lying. <laughs> I don't know how to get to a man's heart. I know how to get to his obsession. They become obsessed. They don't fall in love. Mm. Not with me. They I follow think, my pussy. Because of think, the apps. I think Tinder love apps, is no, because my pussy is, a, she's great. She's a great bitch. I think so love they, is they, also very hard for uh, men. I think it's very hard for them to know the difference between love and obsession. Word. Okay. Some of them, I think some that's of them, the problem. Well, I think also a lot of times men, when they start to feel some feelings, they fucking freak out and then run away. Or they get obsessed in a really bad way. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So, Christiana, when can we, where can we find you besides Tinder? <laughs> 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 and Fitness Single. Uh, imagine, if I imagine if I met the love of my life on Fitness Single. You never know! I, Farmers I, only. I know. Yeah. I do know. I'm not getting on Fitness Single. Fuck out of here. They'd be like, bitch, what are you doing? But like, um, sometimes I do my bike in my house. <laughs> That counts. Uh, word. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm on uh, Instagram and comparable MSC. Mm-hmm. And then I'm. There's no point in bringing up my very very slow rolling out podcast. Well, you have a podcast coming out. Podcast. Yeah. Time. Lay it out. Yeah. I just don't have it. It's a time issue. Okay. Well, be f- go follow her on Instagram because she has a podcast coming and out. And then Google Christiana Jackson podcast, and you'll probably find. And it. then Google Christiana Jackson Tinder. Tinder. And you'll find her attic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I would and love then it go if looking somebody, for her attic. Yeah. Someone, someone get up in the attic, please. Yeah. <laughs> and give me some food. Well, and thank, we'll have a happy life together. That's yeah. Nice. Some lasagna. She fucking, she can cook her ass off. Facts. Like, it's, it's so fucking good. I haven't had it. Because you're not fucking worth I it. I was supposed to bring pasta to today, attic. but then I didn't have time. I'm sorry. Really? I was really looking forward Hopefully to it. it was bow but uh, thank you so <laughs> much favorite. for being here. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, of course. Thank you for putting up with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you do have a wild hyena look in your face. <laughs> Yeah, that's my resting bitch face. Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, like I mean, I've seen it online, but I'm like, oh, now it's in person. <laughs> yeah, it's creepier in person. Yeah. It's, it's more just, aggressive. It's just more like, oh, yeah, he's a hyena. Yeah, it's aggressive, <laughs> especially when he laughs, too. There's some evil in his it eyes. It looks like you're yeah. enjoying life, though. Yo, I'm having a great time He's not. Right now. <laughs> oh, well, when we leave, I'll be sad again. <laughs>
<laughs> this is my happiest moment of like the week. And then when we leave and then it's dark. Well, I'm glad again. I could be a part of it. Yeah. yeah I'm thanks. glad you could too. Thank yeah. you. I yeah, appreciate yeah. it. You have a safe day. 